The Flame That Burned Underwater, 1990, Baku, Azerbaijan. They say fire and water are opposites, locked in an eternal rivalry, destined never to coexist. But in the summer of 1990, just outside Baku, Azerbaijan, that ancient rule was shattered when a flame began burning beneath the surface of a quiet, glass-blue pool. And not for seconds, not for minutes, but continuously, defiantly, as if the earth itself had decided to challenge the laws of nature. It began on a humid July afternoon. A group of geology students had hiked out to a shallow marsh where rumors of bubbling mud had persisted for years. Most expected nothing more than a few harmless pockets of gas, the kind you might see flicker to life above a swamp. But when one student struck a match over a rising cluster of bubbles, just to see what would happen, the water didn't spit or sizzle. It ignited. At first, no one moved. There, trapped beneath a thin veil of rippling water, danced a small, trembling flame golden, steady, impossible. It clung to the surface, then sank a few centimeters below it, burning in place as if tethered to something deep below. The students stepped back, stunned, watching the fire bend and twist like a living creature learning to breathe underwater. Word spread fast. By sundown, locals arrived with lanterns and cameras, standing in an awed circle around the pool. Some whispered it was a sign from ancestors. Others swore it was the return of ancient fire spirits, long connected to Azerbaijan's history as the land of fire. Elders told stories of eternal flames that once guided travelers across the desert, but none of them had imagined a flame like this, one that refused to drown. Scientists arrived days later with equipment and caution. They discovered a natural gas vent below the pool, releasing methane in a steady wind pressurized stream. Under precise conditions, just enough gas, just enough flow, the methane could ignite and continue burning even as water moved around it. Nature, in its strange genius, had created a perfect balance, a flame not above water, not beside it, but within it. For nearly two weeks, the underwater fire flickered on, drawing visitors from villages miles away. Some stayed until dawn, watching the strange glow pulse beneath the surface like a heartbeat from the Earth's core. And when the flame finally went out, quenched by shifting currents and settling sediment, it left behind a silence so heavy, people remembered the hush as vividly as the fire itself. What remained was a question that echoed far beyond Baku. If fire can burn beneath water, what other impossible things has the world been quietly waiting to reveal? If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow.